Hey, what is going on everyone? It's Flaming Kalava here, and next year is a pretty big year for two of the biggest Nintendo franchises, being Pokemon and The Legend of Zelda, as it's their 25th and 35th anniversary. Now, in order to celebrate something like this, of course something special would release or happen for the two franchises. We could get an event, game, who knows, maybe even just a small social media post, but I want to talk about what I would like to see from these franchises' anniversaries next year and what my hopes are for them. So in this video, I'll be predicting Zelda's 35th anniversary as well as Pokemon's 25th anniversary. So without further ado, let's get right into today's video. So starting off, let's talk about Zelda's 35th. Now for Zelda, there could be either three possibilities that I think could happen. One is Breath of the Wild 2 releasing or getting a release date and some more information. Two is the collection route similar to Mario. And three is just another remake for an older Zelda game. Now for the first option with Breath of the Wild 2, I think it makes sense for them to maybe release or at least get information for a 2022 release. It's been almost 4 years since the original Breath of the Wild came out and around 2 years since Breath of the Wild 2 revealed by the time the anniversary will happen. They're taking their time with Breath of the Wild 2 and of course the pandemic might have had an effect on the game's development but who knows what would have happened with the development of the game and I think if it doesn't release next year we could get a lot of information and trailers for the game possibly a release date for 2022 at least. After all, Breath of the Wild is such a big game and seeing the stuff for the next game for its 35th would make sense to me. Then the second option is probably a more likely approach and that is a collection port similar to how Mario got the 3D All-Stars collection. I think that they could just port the Wii U remakes onto this version and possibly add Skyward Sword Remake as a new game as a part of this collection. So it would just be Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, and Skyward Sword HD. Having a collection like this would be an easy cash for Nintendo, as well as adding Skyward Sword to those who wanted a remake of that game, especially since I remember in August there was a rumour going around of a Skyward Sword HD, but honestly they could do something like Port Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask as a part of this collection. Just make it like a lazy, bare bones type port collection similar to the Mario one. And finally, the third option for Zelda is just a brand new remake of an older game. Now, it could be something like an older handheld game or Skyward Sword, but this would be an option similar to the collection one, except it's only one brand new game and not a collection of older ports. Still though, I feel like the collection of older Zelda games is the most likely approach due to how well 3 All-Stars did for Nintendo. Now for Pokemon's 25th and with this one, Game Freak has already hinted at big plans for something next year with a new logo as a social media post. Now I feel with Pokemon there could be little things like older mythical events and stuff and like that that could possibly happen side games releasing such as the new Pokemon Snap and Detective Pikachu 2 that got revealed but for the main series I think what could happen next year is either a Sinnoh remake Let's go style game or a collection port similar to 3D All-Stars and like how I said about Zelda. Now yes we have all wanted Sinnoh remakes for years, but hear me out. If it's gonna happen, it's most likely gonna happen next year. There isn't anything major planned next year and remakes tend to happen almost a generation after their release. Heart Gold and Soul Silver released in Generation 4, whilst the originals were Generation 2 games. And Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire released in Generation 6 as the originals released in Generation 3. So now that we have Generation 8 for about another year, since I'm pretty sure the next big Generation 9 Pokemon game will come out in 2022, a Generation 4 remake seems to be the case happening right now. Yes, it would be nicer if Game Freak did take time with another Pokemon game, especially since this one it's a remake to my favourite Pokemon game, but I really want to see Sinnoh in HD and experience one of my favourite games ever in a new way, even if I'll probably enjoy the originals more. Now for the second option, it would be a Pokemon Let's Go style game. Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee really appeal to the casual Pokemon players and Go players and I think that its success could definitely lead to maybe a Let's Go Johto game, even a Sinnoh remake in this style, even if I don't want that to be the case. Still, I think another Let's Go style game will appeal to the casual Go players it would be kind of nice to see another Let's Go game. And now, for once again, the collection route, I think for this one, it's probably one that I would be very disappointed by, and honestly, I hope this wouldn't happen. And that is a collection of the first three Pokemon generations. If it's full price, I would not buy it. But for a little less than maybe, even if it's the 3DS games or even the DS generation of Pokemon games, 
I wouldn't mind, but this is just such a lazy option since these are Game Boy games and having them be ported for full price of a collection doesn't seem worth it to me. Still, I feel this could happen and could be an option for Pokemon next year, especially since just like Skyward Sword, I remember that the UK retailer game did list like a Pokemon Master Collection a few months back. So those are my predictions for the 35th anniversary for The Legend of Zelda and the 25th anniversary for Pokemon next year. I think 2021 is going to be a great year for the Switch in general and one of the main pillars to that is of course the anniversaries of these two very big franchises. We could definitely be disappointed with getting something small or something huge from the next year and I'm excited for what's to come for these franchises next year. So that is today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did then please leave a like, subscribe, follow me on all my social medias and tell me what your predictions are for these anniversaries for Pokemon and Zelda next year and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.